think it's the most revered trophy in the sports world. <laughs> yeah. We have the Stanley Cup, and what's interesting, it's keeper Phil Pritchard right here in the studio with us this morning. Phil, you saw the Canadians here all lining up <laughs> to take pictures with the thing. That must be something you're used to seeing, right? Well, you know what? You can always pick out who the Canadians are or who the diehard <laughs> hockey fans, because they're the ones fastest up there. They want the photos, but as you saw by everyone in your studio here, I think they were all... Pretty uh, excited about uh, the Stanley Cup. Really I hear exciting. you're about. You must be Canadian as well. I am. You <laughs> are. All right. So let's talk about this because your job is essentially is to escort the cup everywhere it goes. Correct? Yeah, I, I'm one of the guys that travel with the cup around, and it, it's it's got such a great schedule because it does lots of charity events. I mean, obviously media tours, but most importantly, it uh, does the playoff tour, and then the winning team. They get it for 100 days during the summer. And, and each of the guys get to have it for they, a week, right? Yeah, for a day. Or a well, day. It'd be great to go some places for a week. <laughs> it's, it's the, isn't it the oldest trophy in sports? Tell us about the history yeah, of the one. I mean, it's uh, Lord Stanley, who was the Governor General of Canada, donated it in 1893. Cost like 50 bucks, right? Yeah, 50 bucks. So now it's uh, 120 years old, uh, three feet high, 35 pounds, and Probably, if it could talk, it would be a bestseller. Well, what's amazing is that you probably can't see this, but there's names all engraved along here. And I was saying to you, what happens? You're going to run out of space here. You take off one of the rings. Right, and that goes in the Hall of Fame, and then we slide the others up and add a new ring. Isn't that amazing? So every 13 years, and lots of people Another say reason. 13 is unlucky, but for hockey, it's Seems lucky. Because, lucky. Yeah, so yeah. And what team, uh, may I ask, has their name on there more than any other team? <laughs> well, you and I were talking earlier. You're from Montreal, yeah. and I'm Montreal's on there a lot, but I mean, there's a space there for one of the eight remaining teams for this year. So. Oh, LA Kings, you might as well just, just stay here. here. You just leave it here because it's not going anywhere this and you, year. And you, you travel all over the world. How many, how many miles are you putting on personally? How many days on the road are you? I'm on the road about 175 days wow. a year. So, but what's great, and the guys when they take it home, they thank mom and dad and their coaches and schoolmates and that. But. Hockey's played in 70 countries around the world now, so depending on what that roster is, that could be I mean, it could be, long you way. could be along, going all over the place. We hear some interesting stories about what some of the players do with the cup. Yeah, I mean, I you? don't know if some of it's just lore, hockey legend, you know, christening babies in the yeah. top of the cup, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> Can you tell us maybe more yeah, G-rated I mean, uh, version you're, you're of christening, some? Your christening story is a true, a true story in that. We've been mountain climbing with it. We've been... Uh, Hiking with it. We've been to sauna parties in northern <laughs> Finland. Sauna parties? We've been fishing in canoes. <laughs> but I, I think most importantly, the, the guys, as we talked about, they love bringing it home to say thanks because yeah. they know they can't do the job without mom and dad and Those without their family. Those early morning ice exactly. rink yeah. visits. And when they bring it home, it, it's pretty powerful, pretty emotional, but they're saying thanks. And you let people touch it. I mean, you're wearing gloves and all that, but it's not a problem to come oh, up Oh, no, no, it's no problem. I mean, in all museums, you wear gloves for conservation and preservation. This is is probably the greatest hockey artifact. But the is. only rule is, right, that we can touch it, we can hold it, but you can't lift it over your head. Oh, you yeah. have to earn that. That's right. correct, yes. Oh, you have I to like earn that. Yes. So you, you have only to be one there. of the winners well, to, to, be able to, to be able to earn that. Yeah, you got to earn that. Right. Okay, yeah. so any of you that have silver at home, what's the secret for keeping it? <laughs> because yeah. I can never get Me. this. Me. You. Sure. Hey, can you come over? But it just you have to polish it to try yeah, and get yeah. fingerprints. I imagine there's a whole lot of fingerprints uh, on it by the end of the day. We clean it daily, but twice a year it goes in for its annual, I guess, silversmith cleaning when it gets engraved in that. And I mean, you look at it here, it looks great on the mantelpiece at home, I'm sure. You've been all over the world pretty well with this thing. Is there anywhere that you haven't been that you really would like to take it? Uh, I'd love to go to Hawaii, but I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if there's a player from Hawaii. Hockey players, players from Hawaii. No, that's yeah. right. No team right. there yet either. So, okay. Now, as a guy who you work for the NHL Hall of Fame, do, who do you root for? That's got to be a tough yeah. call uh, for you. Are you even allowed to say that? Well, you know what? I mean, I love going to the games. I love all competitive games, but I'm pretty fortunate I get to hang out with the winners, so whoever wins, that's my <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good answer. Very nice. Phil Pritchett, I gotta say, uh, I don't even know what his bucket list could be, because I think you're living a lot of people's, at least a lot of people that are hockey fans. Ali McKay, Mark Krisky, and I uh, were really uh, excited by this. And we love the TV commercials. Peggy giving you a hard time. <laughs> Peggy? <laughs> Peggy's headed, a hockey fan. Where are you headed to next? We are heading uh, north, actually, uh, north of uh, Vancouver for a charity event up there this All afternoon. Right. So the, the road show continues, but as the playoffs wind down, who knows where we'll be in That's June. That's very yeah. cool. We'll send they our might love. be pretty excited up there to oh, see yeah. that. Uh, so. You think? You think? <laughs> we might need to get you security. Thanks, All right, Phil, Phil, thanks so much. This is a real treat for us. Thanks for having us, guys.